Foodborne diseases make millions of people sick every year, and according to the CDC, it's also responsible for 5,000 deaths. And the culprit is not always a restaurant. Often it's the food in your fridge. Tonight, Anchor Royal Day with a health report on when to toss or keep certain foods even after they expire. We spend a lot on groceries. And while we all pay attention to prices, there are other numbers on everything we buy that are just as important. You can actually get very severely sick. Sick from spoiled food that's expired. Peter Priebus is an assistant professor of nutrition and dietics at the University of New Mexico. We asked him to explain when food should be tossed out. I would say use common sense. If you don't, you could be exposing your family to bacteria that morphs into food poisoning. When shopping, these are the common expiration labels. The sell by date, which is there to let the store know how long it has to keep the product on the shelf. And there's the use by or best use by dates, which are there to let you know how long you have to use the product for the best quality. When you get home, there are three categories, each with different rules. The cupboard, the fridge, and the freezer. Let's start with the dry goods. Your pantry should be dry and not humid. That will ensure the stuff in here stays fresh. We went through my pantry and found oh my gosh, it's 11, 2011. Yeah, so I would probably toss this one. some things that had to go. But in general, rice, beans, and canned foods stay good years after they expire. So oh. this is also expired, expired yeah. right. But I think that you can also use it without any fear. Jenny Meyer is a registered dietitian and has this advice about canned food. Highly acidic. Foods, things like pineapple, some fruits, are generally good and safe for 12 to 18 months. The non acidic foods, like your green beans, those can stay good for two to five years. But if a can is bulging or badly damaged, throw it out. In your fridge, fish and poultry can stay in there one or two days before cooking. Fresh red meat or cooked poultry and meat leftovers are good up to five days. And lunch meat, up to a week. Eggs, if you bought them before the date expires, you should be able to use them up to five weeks after expiration. Milk should go a few days after it expires. Soft cheeses and yogurt, 10 days. Hard cheeses, a month after expiration. Fresh fruits and veggies. Fruits like apples and bananas give off ethylene gas, which helps them ripen, which is a good thing. But you don't want to put them by other fruits and vegetables because that gas can cause those other fruits and vegetables to spoil sooner than you want to. If you have some food in the fridge, you don't want to throw it out, but you're worried that it might go bad, the best thing you can do is put it in the freezer. Well, you can put your milk into the freezer or you can put deli meat into the freezer. And by doing so, you, are, you can actually extend the expiration date by months. If not longer. According to the FDA, frozen foods are safe indefinitely, but freeze them correctly in its original package or freezer bags, even heavy foil, so everything stays fresh. Remember, contaminated food can make you sick within minutes with symptoms similar to the flu, like diarrhea and vomiting. And for homes with kids, Keeping food that's questionable isn't something you want to mess with. Food poisoning is rarely life-threatening, but still a threat for kids, as their immune systems are not as strong as adults. You have to be more careful. Bottom line, regardless of the date, look for spoilage. If it smells funny or something is growing on it, toss it. Paying attention to labels in your kitchen may save you from a hellish night in the bathroom. In Albuquerque, Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News. If you're still not sure about some of the food in your fridge, we have a list of 50 common items and how long they should last at KOET.com under the features section.